It goes without saying that tires, your tires, must be good quality, durable, and have a strong body, like me. But in all seriousness, it is so important to get yourself a good quality tire. This is the minister, if you think about it, between a truck or a car and the road. This spells the difference of you being in business or out of it. Small businesses often overlook the importance of quality tires, and this results in higher fuel costs and downtime for your trucks. Not good. So, if you are a business owner with a few trucks, or if you are a business owner with more than a few trucks, <laughs> then you better watch this video. Now, tires can look nearly identical from the outside, but one can cost you, say, 8,000 Philippine pesos a tire, while the other costs you, like, 4,000 pesos a tire, half that. But there are some real reasons for this price difference. Now, I've got an Aeolus tire cut out here, and they've been in the business for about 65 years now. They've even bought Pirelli tires. Yes, that brand that, you know, that goes around the track really, really fast. So they know a little something about what they're doing. I also have here a generic tire. Now, to the untrained eye, these tires actually look similar from the outside, but it's in the inside that what really counts. Now, to someone that has been around tires for the longest time, we've asked, they too may have a difficult time seeing the differences between the two. But because Jack is so good at pushing the button of his camera, thank goodness we're going to be able to show you zoomed in. Difficult to see the difference if you're just looking at the tread. See here, because honestly, the rubber thickness, the bead placement by the area of the contact point to the road may be quite similar at a glance. It's when you compare it to a good quality tire like Aeolus where the difference can be seen. Now on the generic tire, you can clearly see the gaps in between the beads. You see that, where the black is? It's like they just simply bunched it together, figured bahal na si Batman, and then called it a day. Nah, -uh, no sir, cannot be. Just look at the bead placement on the Aeolus sidewalk. It's structured, hexagonal, with a purpose even. It's not all over the place. Now, this isn't the only thing that goes into building a tire. Of course, there's material quality, material choice, manufacturing processes, quality control, and more that go into a true quality tire. Tires also happen to be the second most expensive expense that truck owners have, second only to fuel. Now, hear me out. Good quality tires, and I mean good quality tires, help maintain tire pressure. In turn, gives you better rolling resistance. Now, if you're asking what exactly is rolling resistance, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Science time. Rolling resistance is equal to F over G. Now, where F is the force necessary to pull the axle of a tire horizontally in the direction of travel, and G is the vertical load on which the tire is assumed to roll on a flat surface. Did you get that? Yeah, neither did I. But basically, when a tire makes contact with the road, it deforms and returns to normal. It's the deformation, which is the force resting motion. A tire that deforms less, therefore requires less energy, and in return, reduces your consumption by up to 10%. Now multiply that across maybe three to four trucks, and your cost per kilometer is going to significantly decrease and save you lots and lots of money. Mm -hmm. Oh, and fun fact, the definition of tire failure is not when it's bald and it goes off. No, no, no. That actually means that the tire made it through its entire life. The definition of tire failure is this, if it looks like Jack and it's still got a lot of tread on it and it blows up, that's a tire failure. If it's Gino and it's made it to the end of its life without any more tread on its head, then yeah, that tire be good. I'm not saying Gino's good, I'm just saying, you know, well. Okay. Unpopular but true fact, the Philippines is one of the most notorious countries in the world when it comes to overloading. It ain't really something to be proud about. Pack more goods onto my truck, which means I'll make more money, right? Wrong. Overloading will increase the rolling resistance by deforming the tires even more. This additional increase in resistance will cost you more in fuel. Even worse, is the likelihood of a tire blowout, which is not only dangerous, but means your truck will be off the road, losing you more money. 
So get good quality tires, reduce tire deformation and blowouts, save your business money, and hopefully create more profits for your business. When looking for a good quality tire, think of the following. Number one, brand. Are they a well-known brand? Are they involved in motorsports? What's their reputation? Number two, quality. Ask about construction, tread wear, tread design, technology, water evacuation, load-bearing capacity. It's never a case of just, it's the black donut, puede na yan. No. And number three, it might cost a bit more, but think of the cost per kilometer, which will overall make buying the more expensive tires the cheaper option in the end. Think about it. Thank you to our sponsors, Aeolus Tires, for showing us the ins and outs, literally, of a good quality tire. The wheel may have been man's greatest invention, but the tire made it better.